I'm in the paint. You know that I'm ballin'. I just be ballin'. And I'm going top. These shots they be falling. Hello everybody and welcome back to this week's episode. So today we finally got our special guest here. We got Mr. Tony Craig. Tony, tell him a bit about yourself and uh, favorite team, favorite player. Well, I'm a Brooklyn Nets fan. It's that since 2018. I'm an Anthony Davis fan, so I'm not a Lakers fan though, so don't worry. Don't worry. Very I'm good. Like these. Yeah. <laughs> um, so basically what we realized for, from our first two videos is that we really got to make them shorter because a lot of people don't like watching long videos. So we're gonna go over a bit of our new format for this for for our show. Nick, you want to tell them a bit about it? Yeah. So basically, we're gonna have one to two segments per show. We're gonna take away the breaks, and we're just making them about seven to nine minutes long now. So it's more enjoyable to watch, and it's more like we have a, a system. Keep everyone engaged. Yeah, you know, like so these segments are gonna basically be players who our players of the week are and who our defenders of the week are and we might throw in a bit of uh outfits of the week too dunk, know, of, the, yeah. dunk of the decade well we have a, we have a few coming up dunk of the decade we could talk go to the debate as far yeah. as that was a good one so yeah let's get going so we're gonna start off with our first segment of our players of the week tony you can kick us off if you'd like sure so for eastern play of the week i have zach levine brought the bulls three to one i think that's pretty crazy he beat the clips obviously nuts Pistons and the Wizards averaged 32 points per game, four rebounds, four assists, and two steals per game. Nuts. He doesn't average steals like that normally. And he, although he did score 39 against OKC, they did lose, which is a shame. Still a big performance. Yeah, pretty nuts. Um, should I go with my Western? Yeah, so go, yeah, with, go with your West. West. Sure. So Western play of the week. I got Jokic, obviously, 4-0. Averaged 20, or 19 points, eight rebounds, nine assists. Led, he pretty much led the team to every victory, including last night's against the Lakers, stepping up when Jamal Murray stepped down, scoring six points in that. Yeah. Had a 22-10-10 triple-double against Minnesota as well. I noticed this year Jokic isn't really being talked about too much. Yeah, he, 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 he hasn't been like he's himself. Like almost. himself, usually. Yeah. But yeah, no, he had a monster week last Still, night. his value is... Oh, yeah. Yeah, very good. Nice. He's triple-double. Um, Nick, you want to go? I'll go. So my player in the East, this was tough. We had Spencer Dinwiddie. Okay. We did fantastic Very this week. Yeah. Right? Sure, he yeah. averaged 37 points, three rebounds, six assists. For sure. Yeah. But my other, I had Trey Young. They're on a seven game losing yeah, okay, streak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I do understand that. Yeah. But the guy this week put up oh, yeah. 40 he points. He averaged 40 points, six rebounds, seven assists. I have Trey Young on my fantasy team. And he just carried me this whole week. <laughs> yeah, he was fantastic yeah. this week. Very good. And my West player, I actually went with Rudy Gobert. Okay. No, he yeah. played. He played very good this week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did. He did better than what he's averaging this season so far. He, yeah. he had sixteen point three this week with seventeen rebounds. He also averaged two point three uh, assists per game, and he averaged two blocks per game this week. Um, I was gonna go with Kristaps Porzingis, but they did choke against oh. the Raptors, yes, which is right. what factored right. into my decision. Yeah. 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 All right. So for my East Player of the Week, I got Kyle Lowry. Who actually won actually Player of the Week, yeah. week uh, this week? Yeah. Um, Kyle Lowry played unbelievable last night against the Mavs. He got 20 in the fourth quarter, so he averaged 24 and a half points per game this week. He got six and a half rebounds per game this week and 10 assists per game this week. That is just that's crazy. That's that's not usual Kyle Lowry. That's standard. good for Kyle Lowry. For Kyle yeah. Lowry standards, for sure. Yeah. yeah. And the they also had a four game winning streak this week. Yeah. The Raptors, and that's the Raptors who were actually starting and to slide yeah. down. I believe three of them without Siakam. Yeah, uh, three? yeah, three. Yeah, he, he stepped, stepped up. Yeah. He stepped up without Siakam. He did for moment. sure. Yeah. And so my West player of the week, you guys might be a little surprised. C.J. McCollum. Okay. Nobody really talked about him this week, but he averaged twenty nine point three points per nice. game. 5.5 rebounds per game, four assists per game, one and a half steals per game, okay. and Portland won four straight this week. I think CJ McCollum played a really big part yeah. in Portland's success this week, along with a lot of other players, but he, he stepped up really big for them, and he usually steps up when Dame Lillard doesn't maybe have the best game. Yeah. Or, yeah. And Portland was fantastic. This they week. were very fantastic. fantastic. This week, yeah. oh, no, that's great. Yeah. They were fantastic. I didn't hear about that. So for our next segment, we're going to talk about our defensive players of the week. So, Tony, you want to kick us off for that? Sure. So, for my defensive player of the week, I got Bam Adebayo of the Miami Heat. Who's been balling. Yeah. yeah. Miami went 3-1. and one. In my opinion, it all comes down to their greedy defenders. And at the center of it all, I think it's Bam, to be honest. Averaged two steals per game, 1.7 blocks. Averaging 10 boards game as well, I think. I think it's clear-cut. Best player for sure. of the week, so yeah. 
Um, what, who's your uh, Western? Mine was defensive player of the week. Hassan Whiteside. For yours? For mine. Okay. For, yours. for my defensive player. Of the, for the West, sorry? For the West. Yeah. yeah. Was Hassan Whiteside. Okay. He was fantastic. Yeah. Averaged 4.3 blocks mm -hmm. this week. And honestly, like, he still averaged 13 points, 15 rebounds. Yeah. And he was a big... Oh, yeah. Huge. Maybe not as yeah. much yeah. as McCollum this week. Yeah. But on the defensive end, oh, they looked sure. sound yeah. this week. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Which they is look, not... That's they unusual like, for Portland, right? This, this yeah. week, the last four games, they look like a serious contender. For sure. Yeah. The way they played. Yeah. Hassan, what do you got for the East? For the East, I had Andre Drummond. Okay. Now, also controversial, because they lost the last four games. If you're playing good defense, why are you losing yeah, four games? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? That team just sucks. But <laughs> Andre Drummond, there's yeah. not much more you can do. He's, he averaged 4.3 steals this week and 1.3 blocks. Fantastic. Also, after the double double, but he does that every week. And yeah. that, that doesn't matter. No but he played fantastic this week, as he usually does. Mm -hmm. no, no. I, I actually had Drummond for East as well for defensive player of the week. Perfect. So you guys might be surprised with my Eastern defensive player of the week, but I'm going to. Side with you on Hassan Whiteside, okay. my Western Defensive yep. Player of the Week. He had a massive week, right? Those those four point three blocks per game really stood out for Portland, mm -hmm. and he's he's protecting he's protecting the rim for them. Also, they had a four and zero record, of course, and yeah, he played a big part in their defense, right? So my Eastern Defensive Player of the Week, to your surprises, Dante Divincenzo. I didn't hear about that guy since college, what the hell? Okay, so Dante <laughs> DiVincenzo, okay, Eric Bledsoe went out last week, right, with an okay. injury. He's out for two weeks. Okay. Dante DiVincenzo steps up as their starting point guard for the Bucks. Mm -hmm. Obviously, he doesn't score very much. He's not going to be a big scorer for that team, obviously. But he is an unsung hero for their defensive for their defensive presence, I think. What did he Dante DiVincenzo yeah. averaged 1.8 steals per game, 1.2 blocks per game. I know that doesn't seem to too big, but if you were watching Milwaukee games, you can see the presence he has on defense. Yeah, those are better numbers. Yeah, and he, he's, uh, he actually, he can guard a lot of point guards and starting point guards in this league, I think, after watching some games with him, with him starting. And they also had a three and one record without Bledsoe and him starting. So I think, I think he had a pretty good week. Do you, think well a, do you think he's a better defender than Bledsoe is? I don't know, I'm not saying oh, that, I'm just oh. saying him stepping in for Bledsoe. Oh, he's, yeah. He was a defensive player. No, presence. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The way he stepped in this week was, was, was very good for the Bucks, right? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. And they obviously did well against the Lakers this week, that clash. Oh, very good game. Well, I watched that. Yeah. I watched that game. That's fun. We can talk about that. And that, could be a, that could be a whole new thing. Oh, yeah. That was one. That was two two. The, what was that? Uh, I thought I saw a thing where it's like the two teams with the best records. It's, this is the latest the two teams with the like best records played each other or something. Oh like yeah, that. latest in or what was it? It was, an, it, was the, it was the latest in like NBA history. Or yeah, something through yeah, the season. yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so they both so this so after twenty seven games, they were both at the top. That was yeah. the latest they've ever made. Yeah, I see, Carson. I see. I see. Okay. Yeah. I see. All right, so that that wraps it up for our episode today. As we said, we want to keep it shorter so you guys can enjoy the full video. Um. Let us know what you guys think about these new uh, segment-based episodes. And uh, just in the comments, like, subscribe. Thank you for Tony for Thank joining us today. My you pleasure. Were, you were a very good basketball insider. I think yes. you know more than Nick does. I so I, I think don't. you might I have to substitute that. him on the show. But <laughs> My pleasure. His Brandon Ingham comments. Oh, right. I'm a fan. I'm You're a fan, a fan of those fan. comments. I'm joking, buddy. Oh. <laughs> there it is. God's sake. So Nick, you want to... Yeah, what are you gonna say? Uh, just thank you very much for watching again. And like Luca said, let us know. We'll be doing any of these. Like, if you want us to do any sort of oh yeah, just segment, suggest what kind not of not just not just player play. of the yeah, week sure. or reaction to last or past games. Yeah, if you want us to do dunk of the decade, yeah, yeah, yeah we might throw that, in that. Yeah, that could be a cool one. I don't know if we're actually able to show the clips. I don't know. We'll figure something. But we can figure something out. <laughs> out and, so that'd be cool. Yeah. anything like that, please let us know, and we're more than happy to. For sure. Yeah. All right. Thank you for tuning in. See you. When the max better give me a deal. No, I'll be feasting. I'm looking for meals. And yeah, I'm the goat. That's just how I feel. I'm in the paint. You know that I'm balling.